All right, so the World Baseball Classic live stream just ended, and I kind of want to look at the pools and tell you guys who I think is going to make it out of pools and what I think of each team in their pool. But before we get into that, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you guys like this type of content, and tell me right now, who do you guys think is going to win the World Baseball Classic? Tell me in the comment section. With that being said, let's get into the first pool. So I want to start off with Pool C, just because it's a pool I know the most about. In that pool, you got the US, Mexico, Colombia, Canada, and Great Britain. Going out of this pool, I got the US, and of course, I think Mexico has a chance and also I think Great Britain does to an extent so that being said let's get into the U.S. roster because the U.S. is stacked so the U.S. is stacked they got Mike Trout as their captain Pete Alonso, Tim Anderson, Nolan Arenado, Mookie Betts, Paul Goldschmidt, Kyle Higashioka, Jeff McNeil, Cedric Mullins, JT Romuto, Kyle Schwarber, Will Smith, Mike Trout like I said, Kyle Tucker, Trey Turner, and Bobby Witt Jr. as the players are going to be playing your infield outfield and all of that in between. Now for your pitching rotation you got some notable names like Nestor Cortez, Nasty Nestor. I personally love watching Nestor play. You got Clayton Kershaw, one of the best Dodgers pitchers in history, Lance Lynn, White Sox legend, Adam Adovino, Ryan Presley, Brooks Raley, Brady Singer, a young Royals rookie, pitching rotational piece that I'm really excited to watch come 2023, Adam Wainwright. You got some young talent and some really good veterans on that squad. First of all, this is like an MLB all-star roster. Pete Alonso, Tim Anderson, Nolan Arenado, a bunch of those players, right? They all slug. They're just hitters, man. They're people that you could put on an all-star team and you'd be like, yeah, I'm okay with that. You have some reigning MVPs like Paul Goldschmidt and people like that. Mike Trout, arguably always in MVP talks when he's healthy. Kyle Tucker, an Astros legend. Just people that are just really good. Now, another team I want to talk about in that pool is Mexico. Notable names on Team Mexico are Alec Thomas, Alex Verdugo, Roddy Tellez, Joey Man is Alejandro Kirk, Randy Rosarena, just some players that are going to be really good for Team Mexico, and honestly, they are pretty young to an extent. Joey Manessis is like a 31-year-old rookie that recently came up with the Nationals uh, about a couple months before the end of 2022 season, and honestly, Joey Manessis seems like a really good candidate that can be a Rookie of the Year next year. Joey Manessis is a hitter, man. He's someone to look forward to. He's like the sleeper agent on Team Mexico. Team Canada is another team in that pool. You got Freddie Freeman, Bo Naylor, which is a prospect for the Guardians, as is going to be really interesting to see how much you got tyler o'neill you got some nice pieces for team canada and honestly it's going to seem like the freddie freeman show just because freddie freeman is pretty much the captain of that canadian squad and of course you have great britain and columbia in that pool uh great britain there's notable names like trace thompson things like that and team columbia there's not much to say about them i just think i got the u.s and mexico making out of pool c pool d is now arguably one of the most stacked pools in the world baseball class you got puerto rico venezuela the dr israel and nicaragua israel is someone i'll talk about first just because there's not much to talk about it's pretty much peterson's team to lead of course you got matt mervis which is a cubs prospect that seems to have a lot of potential he's going to be playing alongside jack peterson so that's going to be really fun now the dr is arguably the most stacked team in all of the world baseball classic your player pool is going to be manny machado Cattell Marte, jeremy pena julio rodriguez gary sanchez gene segura juan soto Eloy jimenez teosca hernandez vladi guerrero jr wander franco rafael devers nelson cruz robinson cano and willie adamas that's an insane pool of players just for your lineup. According to MLB Network, a projected DR potential starting lineup is Julio Rodriguez batting first, Juan Soto batting second, Vladi batting third, Manny Machado being your cleanup, Rafael Devers behind Manny Machado batting fifth, Teas Hernandez batting sixth, Cattel Marte batting seventh, Jeremy Pena, former MVP of the World Series, batting eighth, and Gary Sanchez batting ninth. This roster is stacked. There's no ins, outs, and buts about this roster. This roster is a straight up all star team. If you put all these guys on an all star team, there'd probably be some questions things like maybe Gary Sanchez and Cattell Marte but still this roster is insane your top five in your lineup is arguably some of the people that have been in MVP talks since the start of their careers and some people that have just been always really good hitters this is a team I'm looking forward to they're definitely the favorites and that is only half their team their pitching rotation is stacked the reigning Cy Young winner Sandy Alcantara is on a team you got Yumi Garcia Luis Garcia notable names like Johnny Cueto Rafael Montaro Christian Javier probably the Cy Young winner of the 2023 season hot take in my opinion Christian Javier one of the best players in baseball right now very underrated actually in my opinion you got Brian Abreu you have just some really good players on the DR team now who was actually going to face off against the DR right Puerto Rico and Venezuela are the people that are going to be favorites out of this pool besides the DR Venezuela seems like they're going to actually take it over PR and I'll explain why so team Venezuela's roster is Ronald Acuna Jr. Jose Altuve Luis Arias is coming off of a batting average title Miggy of course you got notable names like Andres 
Jimenez playing on this team. You have Anthony Santander, Glaber Torres, David Peralta, Omar Narvaez, Luis Renjifo. Just some notable names in the MLB. Just, just some casual players per se. But all jokes aside, this roster is looking really good. A lot of these people are all-stars, already been all-stars and things like that. And your pitching rotation is good as well. You got Jose Alvarado. You got Jesus Lazardo, Pablo Lopez, Ranger Suarez. Just a bunch of notable pitching names. Now, the reason I say this team is better than Puerto Rico is because they have a lot more depth. And with that being said, let's get in Team Puerto Rico's roster. You got Javier Baez, Francisco Lindor, MJ Melendez, Edwin Diaz. You know, these are just notable names. And their pitchers, of course, you got Jose Barrios, you got Alex Claudio, Jose Espada, Edwin Diaz, just a bunch of pitchers, Jorge Lopez, just some notable names, right? And of course, you got Marcus Stroman. Puerto Rico has some decent talent, right? But I just think Venezuela outweighs Puerto Rico. So that's why I got Venezuela making it out of this pool. So that being said, let's get into Pool B, because Pool B is going to be very interesting. I think this is Japan's pool to win out. Japan has just a stacked roster. Shoya Otani, first of all. Shoya Otani is one of the best players in all of baseball. You got Yu Darvish coming off an extension with the Padres. You got Roki Sasaki. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But he is someone that just had 17 straight innings in a row of a perfect inning. That is insane to think about. He's one of the youngest stars in Japan. He's someone that could be seen to come to the MLB soon. He's just an ace caliber player. He's going to become a breakout star in the World Baseball Classic, in my opinion, in that rotation. I think it's going to be fun to watch. And of course, the lineup is Shohei Otani, Seiya Suzuki, Masataki Yoshida, which is someone that people are comparing to a Japanese Juan Soto, just because he walks more than he actually strikes out. He's going to be really fun to watch. Lars Nupar, of course, you know, Cardinals legend, pretty much. I think this is just overall going to be an exciting team to watch. Now, there is, of course, a bunch of other names. I just don't know much about them. Now, Team Korea is another team in this division. You got Ha Sun Kim, a notable name, and Tommy Edmund. The other names on this team, unfortunately, I don't know much about. Ha Sun Kim really stepped up when it came to, you know, Fernando Tatis Jr.'s suspension and things like that and he played really well for the Padres and also Tommy Edmund is just Tommy Edmund he's fun to watch it's gonna be fun now in the division of course you have Australia China and the Czech Republic they haven't really talked much about them on MLB Network and actually you know showed off their rosters and things like that but I generally think I see Japan and Korea walking out with this pool now pool A is really interesting just because you have some countries that I just don't know much about but they could be really interesting to watch the Chinese top payer in this pool you have the Netherlands Cuba Italy and Panama coming out of this pool I got the Netherlands the Netherlands have some really good players they got Xander Bogarts for example they got Didi of course Didi hasn't been the same since he was with the Yankees you got some young stars on that team and honestly some people I'd be you know looking forward to watching now of course their pitching rotation there's not much notable names just because a lot of them don't play in the MLB now let's take a look at Italy because Italy has some fun players on it. In my opinion, of Vinny Pascantino, a young Royals rookie, I think is going to really shine in this World Baseball Classic. Of course, you got Panama. It's not as much, but hey, they got Matt Hardy, apparently. Props to you, Matt Hardy, for playing baseball. Personally, I'm taking Netherlands and Italy out of this group. I think it's a toss-up between anyone besides the Netherlands in this pool, and it's going to be fun to watch them first, probably Team Japan or Korea. So Great Britain just dropped their roster as well. Like I said, Trace Thompson, Darnell Sweeney, just some young people, Harry Ford, a very interesting Mariners prospect. He's going to be fun to watch. Now, Team Columbia also dropped the roster, so I'll put it on screen right here. Gio Urshela is one of the most notable names, in my opinion, but they do have some big league talent that can shock some people. So I talked about the World Baseball Classic on stream. I just did a live stream reacting to everything, um, but let's 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 see. Let's see the pools, right? So we got Pool D, of course. It's one of, arguably one going to be one of the best pools to watch in baseball. We got DR that's going to be stacked. Venezuela, Puerto Rico, Israel, Nicaragua. So it's going to be really interesting, right? But I think the DR is going to make it out and get to this you know quarterfinals but i think ah, it's in between it's a toss-up between venezuela and puerto rico i think venezuela is going to make it out just because they have more roster depth than puerto rico and i think puerto rico is just taking a step back this year so then in pool c i got usa of course coming out of the quarters just because i think they'll do really well colombia and mexico are one of the like toss-up names right canada can be too you never know but i think mexico makes it out here mexico just has a very decent roster i think mexico us make it out but great britain they could sneak up on you don't don't hate on them uh pool b of course i got japan making it out i think that's just a given japan has some of the best stars in all of baseball and when you got shoyo tani on the team nothing else matters between the four other teams in pool b it's kind of a toss-up right i think korea is pretty decent and so is australia and china you never know the czech republic i don't know much about so i don't have much on them um and in pool a i think of course i think italy's gonna make it out of here in cuba i think cuba has a decent roster they have a bunch of death pieces and italy 
Italy, it's just Italy. They're going to be rumored to have some MLB players like Brandon Nimmo, for example. I don't know if he's going to be on that roster, but if they have people like that on the team, I think Italy will do really well. In my opinion, I think I see either the DR or USA winning this all, but it's of course going to come down to the US versus DR in one of these semis. If that does happen, I think it'll be Japan in the finals. I think this pools right here can be a bit easy for Japan, especially depending on how well these teams are doing. It's either going to be Japan or Cuba in the finals, in my opinion, or versus the US or the DR, or it can even be Venezuela. If the DR gets upset in the quarters or semis, I would generally be shocked. So what do you guys think in the comment section down below? Who do you guys got going into the World Baseball Classic? Who are you guys betting on? Do you think the DR is going to win out the US or what team? Japan? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have a good one.